Hello, hello, hello. You are tuned in to the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, Miss Mimi Johnson on MJTV Network, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Every Wednesday, it goes down right here at MJTVNetwork.info and MimiJohnson.net. Wow. Um, Al, I think I got some show flyers. Um that I want to uh, mm -mm, like go over a little bit more over 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 okay. yeah over over there we go let's start with that one so May 3rd um, I'm gonna be at the Redan Cultural Center with um, some amazing amazing people um, with Norma Stanley so May 3rd the Redan Cultural Center in Stone Mountain Georgia um, we are celebrating mothers and parents, mothers, fathers, guardians that um, take care of disabled children. And I'm looking so forward to singing my heart out and having a great time. So make sure you check me. Um, just simply email me if you want information. But it's posted at Facebook as well. Um, exceptional moms and I'm I'm really looking forward to singing there and then on um, May 14th and Al's gonna run that slide real quick on May 14th Ariva Blue and I are gonna be at Cafe 290 now we had a fabulous fabulous time last month so we are looking forward to singing for you again and um, I, 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 I really got to just give a shout out to um, everybody that showed up last month um, in April. So this May 14th is going to be fabulous. So get your tickets online. We're at Eventbrite or simply go to MimiJohnson.net. Click on the flyer there. It will take you to the event by Eventbrite um, for the event and I am doing a fabulous promos that if you buy a certain amount of tickets you get free advertising on the arts reporter so get your tickets for Reva Blue and Mimi Johnson the genius vocalist and we'll be rocking the planet with our talent and that's going to be May 14th at Cafe 290 in Roswell on Roswell Road in Georgia, Sandy Springs in Georgia. And then Anansi was the remix. I'm going to be playing Itsy Bitsy. It is um, for the family, but of course for the children. It's a theatrical play by Love McNeil. And I am cast as Itsy Bitsy Spider. I'm a spider stuck in the 70s. And it is adorable. The entire play. That's June 7th. We will be at Mark Squared Studios. Um, and that's about it for right now. We're going to go to a commercial break. We have got two fabulous guests. And I, these young ladies inspire me. And I inspire them. So it's like, you know, a lot of inspiration going on. So you're tuned in to MJTVNetwork.info at the Arts Reporter, Your Arts Reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. We'll be right back. Mwah. It sounds like one big joke to me. Are you sure you weren't just hearing things? Because I have to tell you all the time about watching all those horror flicks, your life is just like one big interesting movie, always. I don't know. It was probably just a prank. You know you are the new kid on the block. What about the dreams? Well, you are a fighter and you never let things defeat you. So maybe the dream was a way to remind you of your inner warrior. There's a little girl in intensive care right now fighting for her life. And I have three children that said that you're the one that did it. Well, I'm sorry for the girl that's in intensive care. And the three girls, they're just haters. How do you know that they were girls? I only said children. So what seems to be the problem here? My problem is with him. And my problem is with her. Okay, well that's not going to get us anywhere. 
Is there any infidelity? Money missing from the household? Dawn, let's start with you. All right, all right, listen up. We are auditioning for actors. So if you sing or dance, good for you. But don't, unless Miss Kingston asks you, okay? Okay. All right, group two, let's go. Uh, I'm not ready. I thought we had more time. I'm not ready. Next. Denise, what are you doing here? I can't to apologize. Look, I told you my family don't know about my lifestyle. Why can't you just call? I wanted to come and tell you in person. Maybe if your family met me, they wouldn't be totally against us. Look, that's not the point. Why don't you just respect what I'm saying and just leave? Oh, you think it's that easy to push me away like that? Look, you got to go, Denise. Yes, yes, yes. You're tuned <laughs> into the Arts Reporter. Look, Chrissy's Limeade. Homemade Limeade. Yes. Now, this is pretty good. How you doing, oh, Chrissy? Thank you. I'm doing well today. W where you from? New York, originally. Queens. Oh, my mom is from Queens. Hey, Bird. We got Bird <laughs> in, the order, in the chat room there. Hey, Bird. Um, My mom is from Jamaica, Queens. Okay. Um, I'm from Cambridge Heights. Okay. Not too far. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Is, this is a family recipe? Yes. I know. I've been telling everybody <laughs> she got something going on in the family with generational yes. wealth. I'm loving it. I tasted this. Limey, this is good. Thank you so much. I thought it was some extra, extra something going on <laughs> no, in there. But none of that. I guess it's just the spices and the earthly juices or something. And yes. <laughs> the berries and stuff. Okay, so tell us about, first of all, I'm growing up. So your family invented this product. Yes, it's from okay. my aunt. She's originally from Jamaica, West Indies. And she passed down the recipe to me. And oh. so I just been making it for myself for years. And I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and share this with the public. And so I decided to put it on the market. And so now I'm just local here in Atlanta, but I am looking to go ahead and branch out. No, well, you you global now. <laughs> you on the Arts Reporter, baby. You in 96 countries plus right now. Oh, <laughs> We, 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 we definitely need to plug how people can get your product. I mean, it's too bad with this type of product. You can't give a sample or something. But I'm telling you, <laughs> yo, this right here, 
<laughs> you sure that you didn't put no extra in there? I'm feeling. I promise. I'm feeling kind of like <laughs> woo right now too. Like it's the Jamaica flavor. Yeah, That's it's what it a, is. girl. Okay, I don't want to talk. To, I know you don't want to talk about your ingredients itself, but let's talk about the nutritional value that's in the product. Oh, absolutely. Well, I decided to make it all organic. Um, when we first made the limeade, it was originally in Jamaica. So everything there is pretty much pure and no chemicals are in it. But once we came over to the United States, I noticed that we had the organic uh, fruits and then we had the non-organic fruits. So I wanted to make sure that in the limeade, it was totally healthy. Okay. So I decided to use all organic limes to make the limeade and all also right. other organic ingredients as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Is this patent? You have it patent? The the I'm working on getting it patent right now. Uh -huh, yeah, so it's because, in the process. Yeah, because that's important, especially with when people start ordering it. But even though you know you have one particular or two particular ingredients mm -hmm. that makes it special. Yes. And so nobody can't. They can taste it, but even the best scientists still have to know those really two or three or four special ingredients so to true. get that taste. So it's all you. All me. See, and all I'm me. loving that right now. <laughs> this is the entrepreneur. She, um, You contacted me at um, my MimiJohnson.net contact page. Like, oh, I want to be on your show. I need some advertising. I was like, okay, that's what I'm talking about. And so now, how long have you been? Well, okay, so your aunt passed it down to you. It's so you've been making this mostly all of your life. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then so what triggered like, oh, entrepreneurship, okay, I can go in and sell it. Well, it was actually my mentor. Um, I graduated college back in 2011, and I was set to just go ahead and work on a regular job and just climb up the c corporate ladder. Mm, speak louder. But um, then my mentor told me that, well, Kristen, why don't you go ahead and become an entrepreneur? You have this wonderful product here, yeah. and it's not something that's common on the market. And I said, well, that's a great idea. And, you know, when I started letting people try the product and they were giving me such a good response, I said, you know what? It's time for me to just fully step out with this and start um, branding it, start putting it out there to different places and different events so that more people can enjoy this wonderful limeade that I have. So it really was my mentor who inspired me for the um, Chrissy's Homemade Limeade. And I shout out to mentors because, honey, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be like, go, 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 make it happen. So what's your feeling right now? Because I'm feeling all, this is good. Is that bottle for me? It is. It's for you. All wow. For you. Oh, my God. Are you <laughs> serious? The biggest bottle I have, I 32 ounces. I see that. Now, how much does this go for? I sell the 32 ounce for $6. Really? Yes. That's not bad. No, $6 for the thir uh, 32 ounce, but then I have a 16 ounce bottle that I sell for three fifty. Okay, and give everybody your um, contact information. Okay, you can contact me on Facebook at Chrissy's Homemade Limeade. You can also Twitter me at Chrissy's Limeade. And you can also go to my website, which is Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, you, you're working on your logo, and you're working on your patent, and you're just working to get the business side of it, because now you have the product. Yes. And now, so you're working on the business side of it. So where do you see yourself, like, say, in one year? In one year, I would love to be in Whole Foods okay. with my organic limeade. Okay, okay. That is just the major store for me with all organic everything. I love the... Um, the people that they have in Whole Foods who they carry on the shelves, like local um, farmers and local people who make different things. So I would love to be on the shelves of Whole Foods. All right, we're going to go to a commercial break. I'm going to drink some more of this good <laughs> stuff. We'll be right back. Chrissy's Lime, homemade lime made. We'll be right back. Mwah. <laughs>
Yes, you're tuned in to the Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter, Miss Mimi Johnson at MJTVNetwork.info. For your commercials, make sure you uh, just contact me, MJTVNetwork at gmail.com. So, um, and, and this beautiful lady has supported our network and bought um, some advertising. And I'm, I'm always so excited about my entrepreneurs, especially the ones that understand that you must brand, that you must bring awareness to what you are promoting or what you want to sell. If people are not aware of you, mm -hmm. they can't possibly buy from you. So I always let people know it, you know, and I have affordable prices, so it's not like it's going to break you. Mm -hmm. And especially for my young entrepreneurs like yourself, I definitely want to get in there with you at your lowest low wow. so when awesome. you blow up <laughs> i get all the limeade for free in the world are you kidding me when she's like the oprah winfrey of limeade oh my goodness <laughs> then she's gonna be like oh you gotta send me me her uh, case absolutely yes it's coming and um all right so you know just to recap a little bit now let's talk about your your aunt let's talk about let's go back a little bit and is this your mother's sister or your father's sister my father's sister your father's sister so your father's from the from jamaica yes now are you are are, are they here in the united states they moved yes. here to the united states yes okay so when was your first memory of her, seeing her make it Ooh, I'd have to say when I was about five years old. Okay. That's when I remember seeing my aunt in the kitchen making all of this stuff in the kitchen. I was like, what's going on over here? I saw she was making this drink. And so she let me taste it. And when I tasted it, I was like, oh, my goodness. I just fell in love with it. And so every time I went to Jamaica, I always had to get my aunt to make that limeade for me until she mm -hmm. moved to the United States. And I believe it was the year 2000 she moved here. Uh -huh. And so when 